Okay guys, so we are headed down to a little pond to go get our pet largemouth for the tank. Be sure to watch to the end of this video because we're going to have the details on our monthly contests. Um, we just started our giveaway for the month of May. So if you're watching this and it's May of 2020, it is currently running. So be sure to watch the end so you can kind of get the details on that and uh, get entered. Okay, so we are all rigged up. We've got our poles set up with a little bobber, a teeny little egg weight, a very short leader. We're talking like maybe... 10 inches, something like that. And the littlest hook that I think I've ever used. Super teeny. So this is how we're gonna catch our largemouth. Oh, and we're slapping on some, here, show them the worms. We went to PetSmart. Usually we get them, I don't know. Honestly, we never really fish with worms because, you know, why would you? Um, well, I say that, okay. I know sometimes people catch fish on worms. It has happened. It's just obviously we don't fish with worms. Anyway, um, so these little teeny teeny, these are like the smaller size of worms that PetSmart carries or whatever. They're pretty little. This is actually a smaller one for this container. They have some like slightly larger, but they're not those monster worms, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Here's a good example. So that guy, that's guys about what we're gonna fish with. Yay. First catch of the day. Jimmy got a little birch birch. Okay, it feels, it feels super weird that the goal of the day is to catch the smallest fish as possible. We're literally looking for the dinkest little largemouth ever. Just for fun, I think I'm gonna get the bubbler container and just literally like toss whatever we catch into a container because I want to see what we catch by the end of the day just because it's fun. Really pretty. Yeah, he is pretty. Look at all that color, dude. Pretty. We just spotted us a little perch here. He's moving in. Got it. Wow, one darted out and got, oh, he's got it. Got it. Pull up. Oh. I think maybe it's because that line's too thick for it. I think one's got it. That one took a lot. Alright, look at you, little cutie. I just realized the mic's face towards me, so. Yeah. Well, you're the one talking. Justin just got herself another little perchy. Look how pretty he is. I had to film him for just a second because he's so blue. It's like a beautiful teal color. All right, I'm gonna go uh, get the hook out. Yeet. Jimmy was looking for a large mouth. Look how toot this tiny, tiny, tiny little guy is. Let me get the hook out. Okay. He's so little, tiny as perch. I chunked that big perch back in the water instead of the bubbler. Oh my god, he's like the lit. I think that's probably the littlest perch I've ever seen. He's so teeny. Put him in the little thing. Oh my god, he's the cutest. I know. Oh, he's so cute. I caught another perch, but he is misbehaving. He has jumped out of my hand and he is throwing a fit. So we're just gonna toss him right back in. Ready? Bloop. Goodbye, little man. Little perchy. He's got pretty colors. All right, little cutie, go live your life. Whoop. This particular spot is really hot for these. He's fishing with a lure. Look at the thing he caught. Holy cow. What size of lure are you, you fishing with? What is it? It's a rooster tail. Oh, it's a rooster tail. Oh, got it. Okay. Let's look at this guy. Dad gum. 
Oh my God, let's do a comparison to that little one. Hold on, that'd be hilarious. Let me find him. Oh, 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 I got him, I got him. Okay, let's do a size comparison between Jimmy's tiny one and this massive one. Look how teeny he is. This one's a hog, dude, for a perch. <laughs> you could almost eat him, look. <laughs> Just kidding. That's cool. Pretty. So so he thinks it's a warm mouth perch. That one. Hey guys, look, another perch. Them perches, them perches, them perches. Whoop. You guessed it, guys. <gasps> Another perch. Hey, Jimmy finally caught a largemouth with his tiny little rooster tail. Trying to catch a little one. Now this guy is not small enough, which is something I have never said ever, is that fish is too big. And he's not even that big. <laughs> he's a little on the big side, plus his lip is really jacked up. Something that wasn't He's got some weird previous catching experience or something. Yeah. All right, we'll let him go. Literally been trying to catch this tiny, tiny baby largemouth forever. Okay, surgery. Okay, we can do this. Just be very careful. We finally did it. Jimmy spotted the perfect largemouth bass. There he is. He is teeny, teeny, tiny baby. We've been trying to catch him for literally 10 minutes, and he kept streaking it and eating our fish and not or eating our worm and not getting it. We finally have it. We're gonna do a quick release of this million and a half perch that I got. Oh, they're all still in here. Okay. <laughs> Two more. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, there they go. That's awesome. Here we go. And last one. Just trying to grab them. All right. Okay, so now we need the bucket for our actual pet. Yeah. You got it. Well, guys, it is now about three in the afternoon. We've been fishing since about 10 a.m. Um, I think I honestly caught around, I'm gonna say 24 perch. Um, I bucketed some of them, but I didn't even buck, bucket anywhere close to all of them, and Jimmy tossed most of his back. So, that was an intense day, but we got what we came for, which is a tiny, cute, baby largemouth. So we're gonna go put him in the tank. Okay, so Jimmy is about to add the driftwood in to the tank real quick. Where'd you get this at, babe? Um, I think I got this at Lake Whitney. Oh, this is from Lake Whitney. Yeah, Street. I've had it for quite a while. So we got some of the tannins out. Um, it's been soaking for like three days. Three days. Um, might still leave some tannins for a while. We sort of expect that. So we're gonna have a little bit of tannish water, probably, once it's been soaking for a bit. That is a beautiful piece of driftwood. Look at that. Yeah, we just gotta figure out how we want it in there. But it's kinda hard to see. It's gonna cool. like that. Yeah, it looks good to me. I like it. Something like that. Sweet. Maybe this way a little more. Get it right. Got the, the the wood put in place. It looks really nice. I'm really into that. He had a lot of driftwood options, but this was definitely the coolest one for this particular setup. Pretty legit. Yay! This is the last thing we had to add outside of the small the largemouth bass. So yay! Decided to name the largemouth um, Frankie. So that we literally spent hours today catching this little guy. So we're super stoked to get him in, um, or a girl, or whatever it is. All right, let's get it going. About to go in. Well, I already love him so much. He's so cute. He's like the teeniest, cutest little teeny ever. Right, the time of year we knew it was gonna be challenging to find like a largemouth baby because like they're all spawning right now. So we were like, I don't really know how many babies are actually gonna be out and about. Probably none yet. But we managed to find one. It took hours, yeah. but he's cute and he's perfect. There he is. He's so cute. Aww. He's never gonna take a 
horse. He's like, what is this? Hi, buddy. I think it's weird how like they get so stressed out when they're traveling. They always like change colors. happy we finally got a large mouth we've been wanting like an interactive fish for a bit we didn't even expect to get one this teeny but kind of the smaller the better just because they're gonna grow up with us so never had a pet bass this isn't jimmy's first but it's my first so i'm pretty stoked little frankie so cute oh there's a perch look see that's like gives you a comparison those are the two perch he's so small Hopefully he doesn't get his butt beat. That's definitely been a concern. <laughs> Once in the month of May, you can comment on any of our videos and say fish on. That gets you one entry into the contest. Now the second thing you can do to qualify is we have the Waffles Fam Facebook page. If you share any of our YouTube videos onto your Facebook page, take a screenshot and post it on the Waffles Fam Facebook page. You can do that once a day, every day for the month of May, and every time you do it gets you another entry into the raffle. So we're giving away free, I believe it's gonna be lures this month. We're gonna announce that pretty soon. We need to pick out what of our favorite gear we're gonna give out. So we will let you guys know soon. But uh, guys, keep on fishing and we will see you later. So in the midst of getting this all recorded, we actually had a whole bunch of critter discovery content. We saved a turtle on the side of the road. We released that turtle into the pond. We came in contact with a few crawfish. Uh, we saw some baby turtles. We fed a few ducks. There was just a lot of stuff going on. So if you guys wanna see the extended content, be sure to click this video that we're gonna show as a recommended. <laughs>